Hey guys, it's Maria with Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. I am so honored to be the special guest of this video and because of that I'm going to introduce myself a little. It all started in 2020 when I wanted to start video editing. Luckily I found one show Filmora and since then I made really a lot of videos there and it helped me so much with expressing my creativity. I've always wanted to create content for social media and Filmora gave me that opportunity by selecting me as one of their members of the FC program this September. I was so happy when I received that email and I have to say it's been a pleasure to work with members of Filmora's team and to make videos. Again, I really can't express how grateful I am to be the special part of this video but also to participate in the launch of Filmora 12. Also, I'm so excited to show you the tutorial I have for you today but we'll get to it in a second. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I post a lot of tutorials and Filmora there but also lots of other fun stuff so make sure to check it out. So today I will show you how to make this trendy photo cutout animation you've probably seen on your Instagram or TikTok already and in this Filmora tutorial I will give you two different ways to do this so you can choose the easier one for you. First thing you need to do is to find photos you would like to add in your video and import them in Filmora. The ones I'm working with are just some random pictures I found on Pinterest. You should also change your aspect radio to portrait. And if you want to, you can change your workspace layout to shorts like I did here because it will be easier to edit like that. Basically, what we need to create here is that the object that has been cut out from the photo appears before its background. First we need a photo we're going to start and end with because we want to create the loop effect. Make sure you position and scale your photo so it fits the whole screen. Then we need to create two tracks, one for whole photos and the other one for the cutouts. As I said before, there are two ways to do this and we're starting with the draw mask feature. The draw mask is actually a new feature added to Filmora 12 and I find it really helpful. So the next thing we need to do here is to make our actual cutout so we can add them to our animation. Let's do it. I will choose this photo and add it to the overlay track in my timeline. And now I will double click on it, go to mask and click here for draw mask. Now I'm making my cutout by creating borders with these dots just by clicking. To make it transparent, make sure you click on the first dot you made, just like I did here. And as I said before, we need the cutout to appear first, so I'm placing the cutout just before the first picture I added ends, and then in the track below I will add the same picture I made this cutout of, so it looks like the background is suddenly appearing, and it looks like this now. Now, keep repeating the same process as many times you want, just with different pictures, of course. While editing, make sure that the cutout and the photo are on the same position and have the same scale. Don't bother if you made a mistake while drawing a mask. You can easily delete the dot you don't uh, want anymore by clicking on it and then just clicking delete on your keyboard. I also think it would be really fun if you add some stickers to your animation. For example, I added these autumn leaves to this picture and now it looks more interesting and fun. Just make sure to add the same picture from the beginning at the end of the video too and make a cutout from it. When you're done, it should look something like this. I hope I explained it well enough. Now we're moving on to our second way to make this animation and it is the one using the Smart Cutout option which is also the new feature added to the Filmora 12. The process is actually pretty similar to the previous one uh, but the only difference is in the way of making cutouts. I think this one is maybe a little bit more precise but it takes a bit more time. I am choosing the same picture I chose before for the beginning and the same one for my first cutout. To access Smart Cutout, double click on Photo, go to AI Tools, scroll down to Smart Cutout and click on Start Smart Cutout. The new window will appear where you can select the area you want to be cut out. If it's not perfect from the first try, you can adjust it by using a razor, zooming in and out. That's what I meant when I said it takes a little bit more time, but still, if you want better results, I would recommend using Smart Cutout. And then just the, repeat the process for as many pictures you want and it should look like this. And now 
already know how to make this fun animation in Fumora 12. Tell me in the comments down below which way of making this animation you like better and which one you're most likely to use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Wondershare Fumora's YouTube channel for more editing tips. Keep creating!